everyone, welcome to another video. In today's video we're going to be having a look at Duran Duran in terms of the key concepts and context that you may need to know for component 2 for those of you who are studying Rio. Just the same as with Pharrell and Katy Perry, Duran Duran is not the artist that I teach my students so I'm not as confident with the information that we've got here and I've had to sort of do a lot of research myself so what you might want to do is to use this video as a basic structure or scaffold that you can then add notes to based on notes that you may already have or as you're going through your lessons either at home or at school into the next year. So in terms of language then which focuses mainly on the video for Rio itself we see a lot of playful, artistic but also sexual representations and imagery within the video itself. Just like the band it's heavily focused on aesthetics and the overall look, design and feel of the video as a whole but it does highlight a high class lifestyle which the band were trying to promote. Now in terms of the industry, the track was released in 1982 and was released on an album of the same name, which we'll have a look, a li have a look at in a little bit more detail in the next section. It has also been re-recorded by other modern artists, including Nicole Scherzinger, so it is considered to be a really important track in terms of music history. Now in terms of our audience, we've got a slight reversal here obviously because this is considered to be one of the historical artists. So our primary audience are going to be slightly older, looking at perhaps 45 to 60 year old women, B to C2 who are succeeders and mainstreamers, whereas our secondary audience are going to be younger, 16 to 40 year old women, B to D, aspirers and mainstreamers. Now in terms of our representation, the people within the video are represented as being very stereotypically attractive and wealthy and both the song and band are very playful and don't take themselves too seriously, which is why there is also this idea of an aesthetic or artistic side to the video because this isn't just about representing the band as a whole and it isn't just about presenting a um, sort of stereotypically pop boy band into um, society at the time. And looking at society at the time, Duran Duran were sort of the epitome of wealth, style and class, so they were considered to be a very aspirational boy band of the era and gave their audiences something to look up to, which you can see in the way that they're represented in stock photos when they've been required to pose or to dress in a certain way. They also fit into this genre of music called new wave music which focused on creativity and releasing something that was different to everything else that was around at the time. So breaking out of this, this idea of what's normal for the genre or normal for the period. Culturally, again linking to this, the band promoted creativity and individualism which is very common to both the period that this was released in but also to the new wave genre as a whole. Interestingly though, and historical context is obviously going to be a larger focus here for our historical artists, the song coincided with the release of MTV. So MTV, the music video channel, was released a year before Rio was, and also the song Rio itself was taken from the second album, but it was the fourth single to be released from it, and it didn't actually do as well as some of the other tracks from the album, such as Hungry Like the Wolf. Now at the time politically the Conservative Party and specifically Margaret Thatcher were in power during the time that the song was released. Now the fact that the Conservatives were very very traditional and more traditional back then than perhaps we would consider them to be today may explain why there was an increase in individualism and creativity and why the band wanted to push this idea of individualism through not only this particular track itself but also through the, the genre of music that they produced and also the way that they dressed and conducted themselves. So I know this was a really quick video in comparison to the others and we've not got as many key terms here but as I said you may want to use this video as a basic structure and scaffold and then add to this with your own notes, own ideas and things that you learn as you go through the course. We do have a few key terms though so do make sure you understand them and maybe make a note of what some of these mean either on note cards or as a glossary if you're following along the videos that we create. If you haven't already, also subscribe, hit the button below so that I can get myself closer to a thousand subscribers and so that I can communicate with you guys over that community tab which you did say you would like to see me using. For every person who subscribes you also get a shout out so if you've not had your shout out yet please make sure that you let me know in the comments section below or you can get in touch with me with ideas, questions, comments, anything you like uh, through either the comments section below or through social media at media underscore revision on Twitter or GCSE Media Revision on Instagram and I will see you guys later.